I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, June 27th. Hey, it feels good this morning, but uh, you know that heat's coming. Get in there and uh, check out some of the Skycam shots around the network this morning. A look at downtown Jasper, and man, it feels good. Our uh, sky watcher up at Black Creek, northeast of Gadsden, reports 52. I mean, he's a, a few degrees away from the 40s as I do this update. Here's the uh, Huntsville Sky Cam. You can see the uh, U.S. Space and Rocket Center off in the distance. I was up at that fine facility last month. Great place. And down south, there's the historic Edmund Pettus Bridge across the Alabama River in Selma. Very high amplitude pattern. Of course, the attention is focused on the Death Ridge, that nasty upper high over the central United States this morning. But cool troughs are over the northeast and the northwest. And of course, the Upper trough over the east brought that uh, very dry air down in here yesterday. Uh, the humidity was, I think, at 1.18% over uh, northeast Alabama during the peak of the heat, and that's the reason it's so cool this morning. The dry air just cooled very, very nicely. But the ridge winds for us, and you can pick it out easily there with uh, blistering heat. I mean, uh, as hot as 115 out in, what, Hill City, Kansas, and uh, McCool, Nebraska yesterday. And that's just easing in here. But then again, this is summertime in Alabama. Next week's 4th of July week, you know. All right, Debbie, uh, a tropical depression around Cape Canaveral, Florida. And it's moving back out into the Atlantic. And thank goodness for Florida, the bulk of the rain is over. You can see the uh, convective bursts are well offshore now in the Atlantic east of Florida. And that deal is just going to move northeast uh, with time. Maybe regaining storm status along the way, but... It will not affect the United States. It should be east of Nova Scotia by early next week. We know it out there in the deep tropics, a little uh, disturbance between the coast of Africa and the Lesser Antilles. NHC guys have only a 10% chance of that developing. Another wave coming off the coast of Africa. And as we get deeper in the season, you tend to look out there a little more. Convective outlook today, just a little bitty slight risk up on the Canadian border around International Falls, Minnesota, and tomorrow, slight risk, including Chicago and Des Moines. Rain for the next five days. Goodness, we need some, but you can pick out the ridge right there. It's got the ring of fire around it. No rain from uh, Amarillo to Atlanta under the ridge. Better chance of getting wet up on top of the ridge around Chicago and places like that. Let's look at modeling. This is the uh, OZGFS, valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon at 500 millibars. Big old bad 594 ring over Oklahoma City and Wichita, Kansas City. That'll be the center of the heat today. And, of course, uh, we're dry as a bone. We're expecting mid-90s today, uh, low to mid-90s. The GFS is at 93. The NAM only shows 91. Tomorrow, it starts to get pretty hot with uh, upper 90s likely. And Friday, yeah, it's probably when you start the triple digits. High should be around 100. Maybe 101, pick your poison there, whatever. It, you know, I don't know if you can feel the difference. And then Saturday as we kick off the weekend, uh, the ridge is still in place across the southern states, and it's just sunny and hot. Let's look at the uh, European for temperatures. That's got us at 105 on Saturday. That might be a little excessive. Uh, the NAM is at, or I'm sorry, the GFS is at 101. We figure highs ought to be between 100 and 104. Sunday, probably just as hot. Evidence maybe the, the core of the heat shifting a little north, but we'll do triple digits. And Monday, still, this is suggesting triple digit heat with the, the nastiest heat north of here. Memphis, Louisville, uh, Paducah, Evansville, places like that. And Tuesday, we're in the 90s. Wednesday in the 90s. And again, uh, really brutal heat to the north. And I think the... the, the Euro here has a hot bias. I don't think it'll be quite that hot, but no doubt we've got a great chance of triple digits Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and maybe Monday. And by the 4th of July, which this is, uh, it'll be in the 90s, but uh, not quite as hot. Go back down to the uh, surface, look for any moisture. That's Tuesday, looks pretty dry. Wednesday, 4th of July, week from today, eh, shower should be very widely spaced. We'll take any cooling shower you can get, but that's not the kind of widespread rain we need. We'll check the end of the forecast. Now, this is interesting. This is, interesting. This is July the 12th. 
And that old 594 nasty heat is way out west. And we've got kind of a weakness in the ridge here. And that should open the door, if this is right, for uh, temperatures not as hot and a much better chance of at least scattered showers and storms. So keep your fingers crossed. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 3.30 or so today. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream of the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and God bless.